Yeah, this guy's been popping off. Galgot 100. This one is, uh, you know, it's just like the expose stuff. Um, like, these are all the things that CIG said, except I found that a lot of these have been taken out of context quite a bit. Um, so let's watch the one around persistence, as persistence is something that, yeah, maybe we see today. Maybe it comes out The today. next major deliverable for the persistent universe will be called persistence. <laughs> it will involve everything from database abstraction layers and caching functionality, integration with a new global entity ID system, the seamless transition of items from one server to another. You know, it's never 100 percent. You know, we like we I've been in that office before, like in this room. But the. Uh, the funny thing is, is like even for that statement was true because we never got anything since then. Right. Still have a lot of data that's yet to be designed before we can persist it. And we have the p-cache, persistence cache. Persistence cache sits before the persistence database service that writes directly to database, taking all that, the traffic from all the dedicated game servers. So many stateless, uh, easy to scale services that we can have whatever we want and cope with whatever load we get. Now that we feel that we've got the bones in place for the persistent universe in terms of you know, fully persistent ships, characters, items, uh, uh, you know, the full persistence, the ability <laughs> for you to go anywhere in the universe and, you know, me drop this remote on the floor. Doesn't work, so I might as well drop it. There you go, right? <laughs> so, and then I'm, then I'm gonna walk away, right? I'm gonna walk out here. It's gonna stream out, it's gone. And I decide, oh, you know what, I really want my remote again. And then it's going to remember that I dropped it. It's going to stream it back in, even if it was on the surface of a planet. And it'll be there, and I can pick it up in first person. And uh, that's a big step for us to be able to do that. Uh, and we'll... we'll... Um, but we're doing a complete refactor of um, the whole database, the item cache. Uh... And then you're going to do it again drop my gun in the woods somewhere in Hurston and I leave, I come back that gun. He hasn't there. started on the coffee uh, cup but yet. I, you know, I would say, you know, expect to see the persistent changes come. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're hoping to, I mean, well, I'm not going to say I have to. Sometime uh, around about middle of this year, I think. Uh, so full universe persistence. And that is the persistence that allows us to save everything, period. So you can Why take does he say shit your, like that? coffee mug and drop it in a forest, or you could come back and see it if someone else hasn't stolen it. Uh, and so the, 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 and that, that, that iterates to every- Middle of what year? 2020. Every, uh, we save the state, it goes back to a cloud database. It's what we're calling the iCache. The new iCache is also being built with our gameplay systems in mind and understanding of how we need to query data from game servers. At this point, we have a much better idea of how the game works than when the legacy P cache was created. The difference beyond 3.8, the iCache system we're talking about, is that that allows us to almost shape the world with this persistence. So, like as a as a player, I could you know make a homestead on a planet and and you know build myself a little outpost or a hut or right. And it's not and it's not just. See, it comes down to like again talking about like lies. Is it a lie where they think this is going to work and then it doesn't and then they do it again to try to make it work, right? Like they come on camera and they tell you what their expectation of something is supposed to be and then it hasn't happened correctly once, right? From 2015 to 2020, P-cash, I-cash, right? Like all these things, like they, I believe that they thought that they were going to do this. Why do they keep believing that they're capable of doing something and then it's then they're not is is where like that's where the problems lie. Why do they keep believing it's going to be something that it isn't? You know, just, you know, to be clear, it's not just a you thing. It's like, well, if you build that homestead in the middle of nowhere and someone happens to stumble upon it, then they can interact with it. They can raise it to the ground. They can customize it. They can have them and their friends move in. It's like you don't really know what the, you know, the state's going to be when you leave things out in these public places. It's, it's completely emergent behavior that's kind of like what you would see 
in the real world, really. Yeah. Th these are all actually very simple things to leverage this you know, long-term persistent function. Yeah, and it sounds so simple, but the emergence of it is incredible. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it, but that's what we do so often, which is we build in the low level, the fundamental mechanics, and then you Why get the all of this so complex bad? functionality just naturally results. All right, so uh, they, there you go, uh, folks. That's a fairly in-depth uh, discussion of uh, what's coming up this year. And yeah, we're building out the the, the back-end uh, database, what we call the entity graph, that is going to sort of persist and remember the state yeah, of so every this is now the object. third or fourth iteration of this plan that they've had for persistence. You know, whether you dropped a Coke can... And this is the, the one that actually planet, made it in the game. Um, you know, we're making really good progress to it. I'm not going to promise any dates because it's, it's no the, dates. by far the, the most technically uh, challenging thing. I will say probably by the end of this year, we should hopefully have the proper persistence in there that we that talked about the proper global persistence which is this sort of streaming entity graph no dates we immediately just, uh, says discussed. a date what a fucking is, clown know, the new version of what was being called the iCache before if people are getting confused about that our current aim is to release persistent streaming and the first version of the replication layer ideally between q1 and q2 next year Q4 cash would still likely not be able to have low latency. That means that you could drop a gun or a med pen in a forested area on Mic 1.8 release, release to life in late Q3. I know many of you have been waiting for salvage, physicalized cargo, and persistent <laughs> entity streaming for a long time, and I am excited to see us in the <laughs> home stretch this? to finally bring it to you. I, I think that's the end of the video. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I don't know. I It just comes down to like the way you want to perceive the world is do you take everything that they're saying as absolutely malicious? They went up there with the intent of duping you or did they actually believe that those solutions were going to work? I'm not sure, but I, I'm more leaning very heavily on the I think they actually believed it was going to work, right? And then it comes down to why did you believe it was going to work when it when it didn't? And how do you prevent that from happening more often? Right. I know that there's like it's a big part of development, software development, game development, all these things to just like you got to get it in to find out if it works or not. They got it in. It didn't work, you know, and it just. Is so I don't know, man, it, there's there's arguments that like all this stuff Everything that happened is like totally valid. And there's arguments that there's like a pattern here, that there's something going on, that it's uh, not exactly a good thing, right? So it's um, it's tough, but <laughs> I guess we have it now, maybe. So it's like, yeah, man, it, let's see. I don't know. This is This is so brutal. This is just so brutal being a backer of this project because they they ride you through these highs and they kill you with these lows and it's just it's just really tough and I wish that they were better at what they do because it's it's so fucking frustrating to to just be put through this shit. Like they say these things and what are you supposed to do? You supposed to just not believe them, you know? Like they want you to believe them but they've gotten to the point where I don't believe a thing they say anymore. Not a single thing. Not a single thing. Like, why follow the project whatsoever if none of it comes true? You know what I mean? So it's just one of these things where it's just like, man, the only thing that matters is what I have on my on my client and what I have on my computer. And you know what? It looks like 318 is going to have a shitty version of that persistence. So awesome you know i can't get back to the server i was in when it crashes but it should kind of be there i guess so yeah um but yeah i mean somebody in chat says stop letting the egregious and awful mismanagement of cig go unpunished how would you like for me to punish them i'm just a i'm just a, a fucking twitch streamer dude with like 200 viewers like what what would you like me to do about it I stopped buying ships a long time, a long time ago. That's about all I can do. And then the only other thing I do is share my frustrations. That's about, that's about the, the most I can do. Is be like, you know what? 
this isn't cool. This is pretty frustrating. You, you really need to stop doing this stuff. And that's it. That's all I could do. So I don't know what more you want me to do. But it is what it is. And you either follow the project or you don't. And that's about it. That's just how I look at it.